In this product demonstration, I want to show you uh, Matisse's 20 color line of acrylic inks, and that also includes uh, two bonus items, a uh, extender for the color and a cleaner, because these, pen, uh, these inks will work in technical pens. Uh, so let me just demonstrate for you uh, a couple of the ways that it's used so you can see how it would work for you. I have a few colors here that I, uh, I prepped. There are many different techniques that you can use with an acrylic ink. They work intermixably, interchangeably with acrylic paint. They're flexible, but they have uh, an extremely low viscosity, closer to water than, say, butter. So let's just give you a little bit of an idea of, uh, I put this black line here for opacity, but to show you how they would flow from a brush, now, because they're acrylic, they're flexible, and they will dry uh, water-resistant, uh, waterproof, which means that once this is uh, dry, you can go over with another color and not worry about it reactivating on you. And then let's go and take a look at some blendability here. I'm going to add a little bit of uh, a little bit of blue into this and just see what we get. Nice violet into a deeper magenta. And then what I'm going to do now is add a little bit of water to that. Now when you add water to an acrylic, because uh, acrylic's thin with water, the, it can slowly deteriorate the acrylic emulsion. So what that means is um, over time, the more water you add, the less waterproof it dries. So that's where this ink extender comes in. It's an acrylic polymer, so you add this instead of water, and that will allow it to continue to um, stay waterproof even if you want to thin it down to get different tones and all that jazz. Also, uh, dip pen. Kind of see how that runs. It's really a nice product to work with. You get a lot of great uses out of it. And then one last uh, typical use, they work very nicely in technical pens. I think I loaded this with some turquoise this morning and you can see how they flow very nicely out of your technical pens and will dry waterproof. And that's not diluted, that's uh, completely just right out of the jar. So you get the idea that they're um, very, uh, very, very fluid. You know, if it goes through a technical pen, it, it, can't, uh, it can't have too much body to it or it will clog it. So Obviously, that's a good thing. Speaking of that, uh, with the technical pen, um, if you do accidentally leave the technical pen or on a brush or nib and it dries, they uh, have the ink cleaner, which helps clean that up, unclogging things. You can soak it. You can uh, use it as a, a soap. These are ways to get that dried ink off. And outside of brushes or, or nibs, uh, watercolor techniques, airbrush, uh, so many application options. Uh, they're a very versatile tool. Uh, another thing, because it is acrylic, I will show you, I have a, had a toned canvas panel. They will work on canvas. So just to give you an idea for all of you at home that might use it on canvas, how it would flow. And remember, these are interchangeable with regular acrylic, uh, Matisse acrylics as well. Um, they won't, you know, rebel on you. They come together quite nicely. And then lastly, as, uh, as usual, I have some artwork prepared that you can kind of see some illustrative work and paintings that we've made. You can see uh, we got our bison. <laughs> and uh, one of my favorite things, uh, this is actually, I'm going to keep this. Uh, <laughs> this is a, uh, a snake. Now, I need you to check this out. There's four uh, metallics and I think one iridescent. And you can see here, and when the light catches it, make sure that you can see that, it's such a cool effect. And that's all acrylic too. You could put this through the um, technical pen if you wanted. Uh, I, I hope that when you see all these different things, it might inspire a, a new idea in you for something that you didn't know that you could do. Uh, or a new type of art that you uh, didn't even think about trying. And um, lastly, show you just a couple more that we had made up because they are very, very nice. All done with acrylic ink on paper uh, for these demonstrations. And then finally, just a little color chart so that you can see. This is uh, the ink with two passes laid down. They're fairly 
they're, they're actually fairly transparent, um, which is typical for ink. After two passes, they get a little bit more opaque, but that gives you an idea of um, what they look like. So those are Matisse acrylic inks, and uh, they're a really great tool to add to that arsenal, uh, or a fun tool to play with if you've never tried them before. Thanks so much.